Hi, I'm Lainey Bryant for City TV 10, and joining me in studio today is President of the World Aquarium, Leonard Sunshine. Leonard, thank you for joining me today. Thank you, Lainey. And you're here to tell us about how our choices as seafood consumers can make a difference. That's correct. The world's fisheries are dying out rapidly. More than 90% of the world's fish are disappeared. And what we do as a consumer can make a difference to making those fish that are left behind uh, propagate and make more fish. Okay, and how exactly is it that we're helping them? So obviously fish are helping us with the health benefits, but by eating them, you're saying that we'll actually be helping out the economy? We'll help out the economy and we'll help out the fish. A lot of fish that we choose at the, at the restaurant or at the grocery store like orange roughy or swordfish or shark are actually unsustainable. And by choosing fish like salmon and tilapia and, uh, and other sustainable seafoods, we can actually turn, curb the tide of the fisheries and increase the number of fish that are sustainable and allow for the fish that have been unsustainable to start to bring back their numbers. Okay, what exactly does sustainable mean? Sustainable means that the, the species are able to propagate enough that the consumers through their demand uh, won't wipe out the population to extinction. Okay, and you brought us some examples of sustainable fish. I did. Uh, some of the popular fish are the, are the mild fish like uh, tilapia. Tilapia also uh, can be uh, done the same way as uh, catfish. Tilapia can be broiled, it can be fried. This is the raw product. It's uh, very popular. It's also best done when you soak it in milk and either batter it with a, a fish fry or lightly batter it with a, uh, with a flour. You can do that with an egg. I also use um, the olive oil. Okay, and by soaking it in milk, what does that do for the fish? It makes it more mild flavored, and you soak it for about two hours, uh, especially with uh, catfish. Some people don't like the flavor of catfish, but you know, any type of fish you can soak in the milk, and it will help to um, make it more mild. Okay, and so those are all examples of mild, sustainable fish. That's correct. How do they decide what makes a fish sustainable or not? They're scientists, and we're part of a team uh, that brings scientists together all around the world that looks at how many of the species are, are left in the wild, how many are being caught. When we see a significant decline in the numbers of fish caught, then we know that we're moving towards unsustainability. Okay. And then also we have salmon. Salmon is very popular. Salmon is high in omega-3 fatty acids. It's very healthy to eat, and salmon can be consumed in many ways. One way is through the prepared products. These are hot smoked and cold smoked products. Salmon can also be prepared using the same techniques as we did with the whitefish. You can, you can flash fry it. You can bake it. Uh, you can also do uh, trout. This is uh, rainbow trout. Uh, this is ruby red trout. This is, shows you two different colors of trout. And these are all in the salmon family. Very healthy to eat. Okay. Now, is all salmon sustainable? Not all salmon is sustainable. The salmon that's caught in Alaska is regulated by our fisheries, and also salmon that's caught in Alaska is regulated by the Canadian fisheries. And those are wild salmon, and they are sustainable. There's many Atlantic salmons which are farm-raised, and those farm-raised salmon are unsustainable. They're unsustainable because of the pollutants that they're released into the streams or into the oceans where they're raised. Uh, they're also unsustainable because the feeds that they feed are, are not healthy. That seems like a lot to remember with all the different kinds of fish that are out here. Is there a place that like me or anybody that wouldn't have much knowledge of that could go to find out whether or not a fish is sustainable? Well, the Seafood Watch program tells you about sustainability of fish within the United States, and that's the best. And we have sustainable seafood cards at the World Aquarium. These cards look like this, and they're pocket guides that can very cl clearly show you green is good, Yellow is caution and red is avoid. You can get these at the World Aquarium or download them off the Seafood Watch website. Okay, and this would be great to take with you to the grocery store or if you're going out to a restaurant. So. That's correct. Okay, great. Well, what other kind of websites do you guys have that people can find out more about this topic? The World Aquarium website will give you information about the World Aquarium and also all the programs, but our onefish.org virtual office for the World Aquarium will give you the science basis behind sustainability. Okay, great. Well, is there anything else that you think people should know? 
As for sustainable seafood, uh, we have a number of local markets like Bob's Markets, Deerberg's, Schnucks, all understand what sustainability is. And, and I, I think that if we start as consumers asking for sustainable seafood, then we're going to show our vote with our dollars to sell, save the oceans. Well, great. Thank you so much for joining me today, Leonard. Thank you. Be sure to check out one of the websites that will be coming out on the screen to find out more about sustainable fish. So you're definitely going to want to make sure you check out one of those websites. There's a lot of valuable information there. And then make sure you stop by the World Aquarium and pick up one of these guides. It has a lot of great information as well. I'm Lainey Bryant. Make sure you keep watching City TV 10.